In this video, I'd like to share with you a simple Qigong routine that you can use to reduce your chest tightness, chest fullness, and anxiety. Hi, I'm Jeff Chand, acupuncturist, practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong instructor. Chest tightness, anxiety, depression, chest fullness, panics att attacks, shortness of breath, all these conditions are very, very common these days. With all the stress, anxiety, and tension that we have, it's easy to get this energy and this, this feeling of fullness built up in the chest. So you can do a lot of different things, such as exercise, you can take medication, you can take vitamins and supplements and herbs, and they can all help. But I think one of the best things you can do is a simple Qigong routine. So this is a routine that centers around a particular Qigong exercise. It's very old and uh, very effective, and it's very, very, I, I, I think it's actually a very nice exercise to do. Now I've chosen to, to do this in a forest here because what it reminds me of is long, big, tall, skinny trees. And there are some of them around here. Now, as opposed to the big, rooted, deep trees, just bring to mind the, the image of a tall, skinny tree that sways in the wind. So the exercise is called circling the hands. So you've probably seen this in, um, in uh, 18 low hand hands. And again, this is one of, it's one of the original Qigong exercises. So I'll show you the exercise first, and then we'll put it together in a nice, simple little routine. So as with all Qigong practices, you wanna stand with your feet uh, shoulder width apart and just be comfortable. You don't wanna be standing up too tall. You don't wanna have tension in your body. Just relax your body. Now circling the hands, as the name suggests, you're making two circles with your hands. So simply, the movement is pushing one hand forward as the other one is down by the, your side. Now your, the hand that's down by your side comes up and starts to push forward at the same time as your other hand comes and pulls back to your side. Turn the palm and push forward. Turn the palm, push forward. Turn the palm, face up turn this palm, push forward. Now the feeling is that these, your two hands are connected by an invisible rope. So as you move one, the other one moves. And so the feeling is you're pushing away from the center of your chest and pulling towards the side of your ribs. So you're pushing forward and you're pulling at the same time. Now that image of the tree that I was talking about comes into play when you really get into the, the flow of this routine, or of, of the movement. Qigong, I believe, has a lot to do with what's called the flow state, getting to this moment, this, this space where you feel like your body's moving effortless, effortlessly and easily, and you just feel like, oh, I don't, know, I don't even know what time it is. So that's that flow state. So imagine that you're this big, tall tree in, in, a, in a very healthy forest, and your body's just kind of swinging very, very gently with the breeze. You're not fighting the breeze. Your hands are moving in these nice gentle circles. So that's circling the hands. Now you'll see different variations of it where some people will reach backwards, some people will twist the body, but just practice however feels nice to you and uh, your body will tell you what's right. Okay, let's begin the routine. So just start with your feet flat on the ground and just stand comfortably. You can just loosen up your body, loosen up your, your upper back, your lower back, and just try to stay connected in to the ground. Try to feel as if your weight is going all the way through the ground, through your feet into the ground. Try to keep your, your low back sort of flattened and adjusted so you don't feel any tension or, or discomfort in the low back. Try to roll your shoulders around, try to find a comfortable position. Try to adjust your head so your head's on straight and uh, try to loosen up your arms, create a little bit of space in between your body and your arms. This is called the ready position. So let's start with the first exercise called the opening exercise. So breathing in as the hands come up and around, breathing out as the hands come down the center. Now breathing in, big in breath, and breathing out. So breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. So as you do this, as you breathe in, imagine you're breathing a nice, calm, peaceful energy into the body, all the way through the body. And as you breathe out, imagine you're breathing out any tension, any worries, any stress, any excessive energy that you don't need. Breathing in. And out. Good, three more. 
breathing in, staying grounded, connected to the earth, drawing the chi, drawing the energy into the body, letting it wash over you like rain, all the way through the ground, breathing in and out. Good, last one, breathing in and out. Good, and back to that ready position. Try to hold that feeling of presence in your body. Don't shake it out. Now lift one hand up, circling the hands. One hand back, push one hand forward, pull the other hand back. Push one hand forward, one hand back. Try to feel this invisible pulley or this invisible rope between your hands. So as you're pushing, imagine you're pushing on any tension, any worries, any stress, any excessive thoughts that are no longer needed through your throat, throat, through your chest, through your hands, all the way out to the horizon. And as you're breathing in, imagine you're drawing in peacefulness, calmness, coolness, and just feel as if you're this big tall tree moving in the breeze. And just relax and just practice on your own for a few minutes. Just breathe where it feels natural. No need to force it, no need to control it. Just breathe. Your body knows how to breathe. Good, a few more. Just breathe out, just let go of any tension, any worries, any unnecessary energy. Breathing in, drawing in peacefulness, cool, calm, quietness, tranquility. Last one. Good, and come back to the ready position. Next exercise is called release the chi. So breathing in, bring the hands lightly up to the chest, breathing out. Breathing in, hands come up to the center of the chest. Breathing out, releasing any excessive chi. Breathing in, releasing any chi, any energy, and come back down to the center. Now we'll do an exercise called tapping the chest. So we're gonna take the side part of our thumb, put our hands together, and the big fatty part of our thumb, and we're gonna tap the center of our chest. So just lightly, you can just tap it. And if you want to tap up and down, side to side, you can do circles. Just tap it however you feel comfortable doing. You don't have to do this very forcefully, but just do it so at least you can, you can at least feel it. I'm trying not to tap on my own microphone here, but a um, little bit more force is, uh, is a little bit more effective. So we have different heavens in our body. We have a lower heaven, an upper heaven, and a middle heaven. So this tapping on the center of the, uh, the, the sternum here is actually tapping on the middle heaven. So when we have stress, when we have anxiety, when we have worries, we have too much to do, too much, do, too much on our to-do list, tapping this point here can help dissipate the stagnation that we feel in the middle heaven. Good, just a few more seconds. Now I fully realize that uh, some people may have more challenges tapping this point than others. And if that's the case, you can just do one hand at a time by putting one hand behind your back, creating a little bit more space. And you can use in the, even the center of your fingers, your fingertips, and just make little tapping feeling around that center of the chest. Okay, good. Relax the body, circling the hands one more time. One hand up, one hand back, circling the hands. Connecting with that feeling of being a tall, skinny tree, ancient tree that's reaching for the sun, but grounded in the earth. All the nutrients from the earth are being pulled up all the way to the very top of the tree. 
and all the sunshine is getting drawn all the way to, down to the very roots. Try to make sure you feel connected all the way through your fingertips too. Some forms of Qigong uh, don't focus on the hands. I do believe we'd get a little bit more of an effect when we have awareness and presence and mindfulness all the way through our fingertips. Good, two more. Good, and back down to the center. And opening exercise one more time. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And out. Last one. Nice big cleansing breath. Breathing in. And out. Good, and you're done. So you can practice this simple routine once a day, even twice or three times a day if you're feeling a lot of chest tightness and anxiety. The more you practice this routine, the better you get and you, you develop more muscle memory. So as soon as you start practicing, you'll start getting the effects once you become very comfortable with the uh, routine. If you've liked this video, please feel free to leave a little comment about what you enjoyed about it or how you felt after practicing. Also, if you give a little, little, uh, little like or a little thumbs up, that also helps the video grow so more people can, uh, can find it. If you like this style of Qigong, please feel free to come join us in the community. Here we have an on, an, a, an, a growing library of Qigong videos, some that are short, some that are a lot longer, some that are more specific for different conditions. There's so many different styles that we're, we're trying to present in the community and a wonderful, very welcoming forum where we can ask your questions, you can, you can submit, uh, submit questions or, or requests and I try to answer them. And you can also connect with like-minded people. If you're interested, please feel free to come join us and, and I know if you're interested in Qigong, you'll find something that you like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Mm -hmm.